Welcome to the press conference um, after the second stage of the Longines Global Champions Tour here in Hamburg. We will do the press conference in English uh, regarding uh, the people who are in the live stream, Global Champions Tour live stream. Let me first introduce to you the podium um, on the other side. Welcome for the first time, I suppose. Mr. Rainer Eckert, Longine Brand Manager Germany. We hope you enjoy Hamburg and you enjoy the Longines Global Champions Tour here in Germany. Then uh, our show director in Hamburg, Mr. Volker Wolf. Jan Tops, founder and president of the Longine Global Champions Tour. And then the sport. Uh, the winner of uh, the Hamburg stage, congratulations, Christian Allmann. The second place rider, that's uh, Daniel Deusser. And now the third place rider, that's Roger Ypost from France. And uh, the new leading rider of the Longines Global Champions Tour, that's Pius Schwitzer. He competes in Madrid and in Hamburg, successful as well. So you are the one everybody will hunt, I think. Christian, uh, you, missed, you missed the brand new car on Thursday. But now you win a watch, a Longine watch, and know uh, every time uh, which time is the best to gain a lot of money. How does it feel with Codex One? And how does it feel the shower of uh, yeah, enthusiasm uh, by the crowd around? <coughs> yeah, it felt uh, fantastic. Uh, I had a really great day today. Uh, Codex One did an amazing job. I think in all three rounds he really showed, showed everybody how special he is and especially in the jump off uh, I took uh, a lot of risk. Uh, I was in a good position to see uh, Daniel and it was really clear that I have to take the last risk. So uh, I tried really my best and uh, yeah, today was uh, my lucky day. Yeah, you both did, did your best, exactly. Um, regarding the whole Longines Global Champions Tour, um, what are the main goals? 13 stages in the season 2013. Some new ones um, in, like uh, London. Um, will you compete the whole season through? I will try that, yeah. I try to keep as much as possible. I think not uh, all shows, and uh, like I didn't go to Madrid because Hamburg is a really, is an important yeah. show for me. It's it's a really nice show and it's the home show of my <coughs> my sponsor. She is here also all all four days. I want to see her horses and uh, so I took a day off, a week off. Didn't go to Madrid to prepare really well for this show and uh, luckily it went really well. Exactly, Daniel Deusser. Um, he has been the fastest and the best. Uh, but I think you take um, uh, a high risk too, am I right? Um, okay, in my position, if in the jump off, I was second to go in the jump off. For me, I did everything that was possible in that moment. Um, anyway, I knew that Christian was behind me and uh, he was he's always really fast. So, um, yeah, as I said, for me, I did my best and at the end it was just not fast enough. Yeah. But nice to be second, I think, as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Better absolutely. than be the last. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Will you do um, uh, the, the stages, the whole season through the Longines Global Champions Tour? What's what's the plan? Um, I will do Wiesbaden next week, um, and then I have to see a little bit uh, how it's going for the rest of the year. Um, I have in the moment two horses who can compete in the big classes, but um, my ranking, uh, I was number 44 this month, so uh, I have to get a little bit better. Okay. That's um, that's the plan. Roger I Bost Nepondel. Everybody knows um, they could be very very fast. What did you think about your your own round at Hamburg? In the jump off, I know I, I, my horse is not very fast, and I try to do the best. And I'm very happy because I'm not the last clear in the jump off. Normally with Nippon, I'm very slow. Jump very good uh, the three round. I think it's good for him. It's my second Grand Prix global for him. Yeah. So that's him. nice. Yeah, that's nice. Will you will you do Wiesbaden next week at the third stage? No, because I have uh, La Bolle in France. Okay. Yeah. Same week. Yeah. 
made it uh, just in Labuan. But there are several shows uh, during the whole year um, in the launching Global Champions. So maybe there are some very attractive for you, I think. So London, Cannes, try to make the maximum. <laughs> Um, Pierre Schwitzer, um, he's um, yeah, the, the new face uh, in the book. Yeah, and he will do it German, so I, I, I'd like to, to translate from Schwitzer Deutsch to uh, English. Um, Pierre Schwitzer, you compete in Madrid and finished eight position. Am I right? With power, with power play, yeah. And now you did uh, the 10th place with uh, Gavi. Are you happy? Or did you say, okay, I had to win? Oh, nein, nein, es sind gute Reiter hier. Christian Allmann hat verdient gewonnen. Die anderen sind auch super geritten. Und ich hatte einen Fehler in die zweite Runde. Wer ist eigentlich sehr gut gesprungen. Er lässt sich ein bisschen ablenken, manchmal von drumherum. Ich könnte eigentlich alle springen. Aber äh, ich bin sehr zufrieden mit ihm heute. Ich habe gute Pferde mit x u Dann auch mit äh, Powerplay ein super Pferd und Verdi habe ich drei Pferde und kann da mitreiten und auch immer wieder die anderen schonen, also muss keine überpacen und ich bin sehr zufrieden mit Verdi. Okay, let's have the translation. So at first Tobias is really satisfied with his horse and with the competition, first Madrid and then Hamburg. Uh, Christian is the one who, uh, yeah, who won because he, he has been, he has done the best rounds with Codex One and all the others are clearly fast riders. Um, so there are enough horses for Pio Schwitzer uh, to go to the Global Champions Tour, to the launching Global Champions Tour. Am I right? The next stages are in, in, in a view for you. Uh, the next logo is uh, London for me, Wiesbaden. I go to Labor with the Mannschaft for the Super League and the next is London. Okay, Pio Schwitzer will uh, like to compete in, in London, the new stage of the Longines Global Champions Tour. Am I right now? It's new. Yes, it's a new one, a very attractive one, because uh, next week he's he had to do uh, the Nations Cup with uh, the uh, team of Switzerland. Jan Tops. We all know for five or six years um, the Global Champions Tour is part of uh, Hamburg. And now it grows up. It's the Longines Global Champion Tour and is presented by a big new brand. What does that mean? What uh, what kind of importance is there in for the whole sport? I think it's fantastic to have a Longines for a long time partner. It's uh, they are commit themselves for many years. Uh, we, well, we want to grow in our sport. We need sponsors like this. It's a very important, uh, you know, because for the riders, for the owners, we have we have always big costs. And it's nice to gain something back, and also uh, it's a great not only the money wise, it's a great brand to be associated with. It's a prestige brand, and they have uh, already a long history in uh, in uh, in our sport and uh, also in the in the racing. So it's uh, it's fantastic to be uh, involved with a brand like uh, Longines. Um, let's have a view to, to Hamburg. It's the second stage. I think it's one of the prestigious uh, stages. But uh, always, every year, the uh, Longines Global Champions Tour, um, yeah, they, they put some uh, surprising moments uh, in the sport uh, with completely new stages, locations. Um, is, that, is that the plan to have a mix between traditional, prestigious old shows and some complete new places? I think it's important to be diverse. Uh, also for riders and horses, you need some horses who like to be in small arenas and big arenas, uh, sand, grass, as a good rider and a good horse who wins this kind of championships, it's it's uh, it's good that uh, you can uh, be uh, good in all kind of arenas during the day and the night. And we all love uh, a traditional arena like Hamburg with this kind of public. And uh, when you come here, you know what you're gonna get. It's uh, it's always uh, run very professional, big crowd, and and the horses jump great here. Volker Booth is uh, yeah the one. Um, you did who organized the German show dumping and dressage derby, which will host the Longines Global Champions Tour, I, I suppose, for five or six years, am I right? Six? We are in the sixth year now. In the sixth year now. Um, how much importance is uh, in to include a modern and uh, prestigious series like uh, the Longines Global Champions Tour 
into a traditional show. What does that mean for hand work? Yeah, that's um, indeed very important. Uh, the old tradition derby is uh, one of the most famous shows in the world. But through the Global Champions Tour, we have the guarantee to get the, the best riders uh, to the derby. And uh, the mix of both is what uh, the show makes uh, very special. And uh, we can see year by year that we get more crowd, that we get more TV exposure. And uh, I think together with the traditional derby and the modern Global Champions Tour, Nanjing Global Champions Tour, we are on the right way for the future. Future is, um, yeah, exactly the right word. I've got something in my hand that's the new contract and it should be signed today. Um, so if you like to do, I think you should do. Also wir werden jetzt den, den neuen Vertrag unterschreiben. But um, how many years? 10, 15? 25, I think. 30? I don't exactly. It's for the next five years including 2018. So in 2014, 2015, 16, 17 and 18, we will have the Grand Prix of Hamburg Longview Global Champions Tour. Nice to see you. <laughs> Okay, photographers are ready. Good to see they signed it. Uh, dear colleagues, are there any questions to the writers, to Mr. Jan Tox or Robert Wolf? Oh, please, uh, uh, you'd like to say something? Did I miss something? <coughs> I think maybe, we, sorry, maybe we should ask our partner from Longines to tell about his impression about the show. No? Are you enjoyed? I, I think you enjoyed the show now. It's nice to have a holiday and to see all that great sport. Yeah, I think so. Any more questions? Yeah, please, Gabriele Pochana. Um, yeah, about my horse. Um, I ride Cornet d'Amour for um, about a 10 month now. He's only 10 years old this year and um, I started last year in a little bit smaller classes. I started with 140, 145 classes and that level of classes he jumps only for a couple of months now. And uh, for me today it was also new to jump him three rounds in a row. It was the first time for me and him. But uh, I must say, yeah, he has a great character. He's really scopy and careful. And I think he has a, a good future. Thank you for your attention.